Okay, enough of playing. So what we're trying to do is having a Plink detection using the DLib library and the face landmark detection, which we did in the previous videos. I'll, I'll leave a description. I'll leave the link for the videos in the description so you know where we are getting that from. Now, what we're trying to do is having this Blink detection so that we can play this uh, no internet game, the dino game from Google. So let me close this for now and go into the code and see how we developed this. The main library you need for this is the Pi Auto GUI. And this is what helps you control the space bar or whatever keyboard clicks you want. So this is the, nothing but an auto GUI which allows you, which allows Python to control your keyboard and you're using time variable. So these are two important, two new libraries that is different from the previous functions. And um, I mean, towards the end of the video, if you have some more time, I'll go over everything else from the beginning. But um, if you want more information, you can go into the previous video. We're just trying to do a simple blink detection and use that to control the dino game. And the dino game is only used, only played using the space bar. So that's all what we need to be controlling. And for that purpose, we're using the Pi Auto GUI. And you might ask, how do you install Pi Auto GUI? So just go into your command per prompt. Let me clear this and just write down Python. Sorry, you're doing pip install Pi Auto GUI. That's all you need to do. If you're using Anaconda virtual environment, whatever you're doing, just install the pip install part of Pi Auto GUI and it will install it for you. So let me go. I've already installed, so I'm not going to do it again. But uh, if you want uh, any help with that, leave it comment in the description, and I'll be have, happy to help you. So uh, there are two functions. One is the EAR calculator, and that helps in identifying whether the eye is opened or closed, and it gives out the uh, the EAR, which is the aspect ratio for the eyes. And it will give you, I will give her the indication whether the eye is opened or closed. The second function that we're defining here is the jump function. What, what do you do when you find out that your eye is closed? So that, at that particular instant, I want the space bar to be pressed. And for that function, you're using the Pi Auto GUI. And you're using the key down and letting that the space should be pressed. So we're letting the Pi Auto GUI that the space bar should be pressed by this function by this particular key and you're also giving a sleep function a sleep and uh, you're giving a 0 0.01 second of uh, delay and after that the space bar should be left so you're pressing the key bar key, uh, the space bar and then you're keying up which means you're leaving the space bar so th that's how you're defining that's how the pi auto GUI needs your key down means that the key is pressed and then key up only when you uh, leave it, when you put down key up, that's when the space bar is released. And how, what are you doing? So uh, the initially the function starts by starting your webcam by using the video capture and then uh, calling the frontal face detector and also the shape protector. So these are part of the DLib library and for that we are using this function, this uh, thing called import DLib and uh, you're just invoking these two commands. And then you're opening the uh, infinite loop where you're reading constantly, reading the frames out of your webcam, converting it into the color, then also using the hog face detector. This hog face detector helps in detecting the faces using the DLib library from the grayscale image. And once you have the faces, you just define the landmarks. And now in these two for loops, which here, these, these two for loops, which is for loop 36 to 42 and 36 to 42 to 48, this is nothing but the uh, the left eye and the right eye so the, this this for loop is detecting the left eye and this for loop is detecting the right eye uh, if you need more information about this you can always go back to my previous video where I, where I explained all these things and how we are getting into this and once you have the two eyes defined you're just calculating uh, the EAR for each of these eyes and then you're using this formula which is the left EAR plus right EAR divided by 2 and you're just defining and uh, the, the average EAR you're just rounding it by two decimals and if the EAR is less than 0.26 now this is the EAR which is working for my eyes for your eyes you'll have to give us give some trial and error 
try printing the EAR here, for example, uh, print EAR and just see on the command prompt what happens when you close your eyes or open your eyes. How much does the value of EAR changes? So based on that, you define this particular threshold. So in my case, I put down 0.26 because that's what I realized for my eyes. If, uh, my, if I'm closed, if my eyes are closed, my EAR goes to 0 0.23, 24, 25. And when my eyes are open, wide open, it goes to 0 0.33, 0 0.34, something like that. So that helped me define that my EAR threshold could be safely 0 0.26. And the moment it goes below 0.26, I'm just calling the jump function, which Pi Auto GUI uh, uses to click on the space bar. So then you're using IM show and just uh, just showing what the what the image displays in your eye. Now, one thing you want to do is when you are running this code, uh, you want to make sure uh, Chrome, uh, I mean the Chrome is open, but also, but when you're running this. Like for example, uh, this particular, let me rerun this code here. So it's running this code here. Now notice, even my, my eyes are closed, it's nothing is happening. The di dino game is not moving. The reason for that is I should activate this uh, window. Now the cursor, the con control of the cursor or the window of the program is on this particular screen, but I need to change that. The moment I click here, it will start running. Say, I'm gonna click this now. You can see the window invoke, and now it started to run. I love this game for some reason. I, 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 when you see that something that you made came into life, you really start to love it. So now that's how that's all it is. That's all this game has to do. And if you like this video, if you like the what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel. And if you like some more challenges like this, leave a comment and I'll be going over those in the future videos. So until then, stay safe. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.